Let's get started with your ninth grade pre-enrollment form. So one of the things we want you to be aware of on this form is that once you submit it, you will receive a copy of your selections and your counselor will also receive a copy of your selections. Your counselors are listed below and we are by alpha. So if your last name begins with A through E, then your counselor is Sandra Prevost, that would be me. If your last name begins F through L, then your counselor is Ms. Lee. Last names for those students beginning M through R, you will have Ms. Tracy Anderson as your counselor. And if your last name begins S through Z, or if you are accepted into AVID, then you will have Ms. Gonzalez as your counselor. Um, and then pre-IB students and students with IEPs also have um, assignments of counselors and coordinators. And so if you are unsure, what we advise you to do is just stick with A through Z and select from that based on your last name. I'd like to now open up the program of studies, create a tab for that, and just show you very briefly, here's our program of studies. This allows you to see all classes um, that we offer at East High School. And a quick way to find those classes is to click on the Control and F keys, Control F, and then you can just type in your class that you're hoping to learn more about. So let's say you were interested in photo imaging. As you can see, even before I get done typing, it pops up. You can then read, okay, it's a class available to ninth graders, and then here is what the class is about. And if you are interested, then you can select it on your pre-enrollment form. All right, let's go back to the pre-enrollment form. You can also uh, click on the Fine Arts uh, handout. This just basically gives you a list of all classes that are uh, categorized as a fine arts class if you have a question and would like to know. And so let's go back to the pre-enrollment form. So the first thing that you are asked to do on the form is to identify who your counselor is. Again, we are alphabetized by last name so depending on your last name you will select your counselor so I'm selecting A through E um, and then click next the next page talks about required courses and so the first thing that we want you to know is if it's a semester course which means that the class begins in August and ends in December and then you would need to you know, select a new and different class for the remainder of the year. So semester class is just that, a semester only. A year-long class will have two sets of a four-digit number. So this is a year-long class, and you can tell because the first set of numbers is 1211. That's for first semester. And the second set of numbers, 1212. That's for second semester. But when you look at this class, it only has one set of a four-digit number. You can take this class either first semester or second semester, but you could not take it for the whole year. So let's talk about your first required class, English. For your English, you have a choice. Either choose English 1 or Honors English 1. Students who have been identified as gifted would choose the accelerated English one, but most of our freshmen will choose either English one or honors English one. Make your selection now. And then for box three, this is all about math. The grid is really there to help all of our students um, decide what the next level of math should be. So this will become more and more important to you as the years go on. But what I'd like to focus your attention on right now are the choices that you have. I'm asking that you not select the first choice. The foundations in algebra within our building will make those selections for students who meet that criteria. What we're focusing on today will be Algebra 1 Tier 2, Algebra 1 Tier 1, or geometry tier one. So if you are currently in a class that is not yet algebra one, or if you are in algebra one, 
and your grades have been C's, D's, or F's, then you would choose Algebra 1 Tier 1. If you are currently enrolled in Algebra 1 as an 8th grader and your grades are A's and B's, you're ready perhaps for Algebra 1 Tier 1 if you do not believe that you're strong enough in Algebra 1. Maybe your fast bridge scores aren't as strong as you would like them to be or you just feel like you could learn a little more about Algebra 1 um, before going on. If, however, you are in Algebra 1 as a middle school student and strong grades, A's and B's, fast bridge scores are also strong, you might be ready for Geometry Tier 1. Go ahead and make that choice. And then for some of our freshman students who are really strong um, mathematically, you have likely spoken to your 8th grade teacher and they have had a conversation with you and your family um, recommending that you begin with Honors Algebra 2. That's not often the case, but if that's the category you fall in, then you would certainly choose Algebra 2. Um, again, what I'd like for you to know is that we will review all of our 8th grade selections and compare that to your scores and your grades to make sure that you are in the appropriate level class for you. Next, for block four, this is your science selections, either biology or honors biology, you will choose one. Again, remember that based on your eighth grade grades, A's and B's, if you have A's and B's and a strong interest in the subject, we certainly want to encourage you to take the honors version. Social studies, same expectation, choose either world or honors world history, make your selection now. If you're choosing honors, it's, beca it's because you have A's and B's um, in, in the classes at middle school. And then PE, make that selection regardless of if you have additional information that you know will not require PE for you. There'll be a slot that you can put that information in uh, later on, but you must choose PE now. It won't let you go on without doing so. Once you make your selections, then click Next. And now we come to electives. Again, I do want to remind you, as I did earlier, if it's a single four-digit number, then that indicates it's a semester class. If you have two sets of a four-digit number, that indicates it's a year-long class. For the year-long class, you will be in it in August when you arrive all the way through May. Um, which ends the school year. So the first elective is ROTC. I selected ROTC as one of my choices, for instance, but if I changed my mind, I could deselect just as easily. Um, ROTC, as you can see, is a year-long class because it's got two sets of a four-digit number. And then in the business category, again, you can make your selection. Keep in mind, you can always refer back to the program of studies if you want to learn more information about a class. Business Essentials, and there it pops up. It tells you the grade levels appropriate for the class, and then it tells you a little bit about the class, some of what you will be doing. If you like it, then you go back and you select it. If not, you can unselect it if you change your mind. But what I do need you to do is be sure that you have eight total electives chosen, minimum, when you get through all of these categories. You do not have to choose electives from every category. So if you didn't like anything in the business electives category, it's okay if you left that category blank. Um, and if you really like you know, family and consumer type classes, it's also okay if you make a selection for all of them. So it really is up to you. But at the end of the electives, you wanna have a minimum of eight, but no more than 10. So these are just different electives. You'll have a chance to go through on your own with your parents and decide which ones best suit your interest. So now let's talk a little bit about box 17. 
this box allows your counselor to have a little more information about who you are as a student with regard to your interests. So, for instance, all you're doing is just telling us, are you very interested in something or not at all interested in it? And so, if for some reason we are attempting to build your schedule and we cannot get you into the electives that you have selected, then this also gives us a heads up that perhaps if you're interested in an elective that's in foreign language, if we are not able to get you in Spanish one, might, span, might French one uh, work for you as well since you have that interest. That's what this kind of uh, helps us to do. And then box 18, this allows you to basically give me information, give your counselors information on, again, what your interests are. So one of the suggestions that I uh, have listed here is if you'd like to rank order your electives, you can certainly do so here. Um, for RTC, telling me my first choice would be banned. The second thing I'd like to have most would be photo. My third choice really would be Spanish. So this is one way that you could help us um, get your schedule as perfect as we can with the choices that you would like from most to least. Once you have done that, this is where I'm going to suggest that you hold off on submitting. You've got two days before you need to turn this back into me. So what I'd like for you to do is to just leave it as is. Notice if I go back, what happens when I go back is it's saving all of my choices. It doesn't uh, take them away. So it's okay if you do not uh, submit right away. I'd like for you to take that time, and actually this is a homework assignment, um, take this form, gather your folks, and have a discussion. Talk about the electives that you are choosing, and um, once your parents are able to see what you're choosing, then you can feel free to submit your choices to, to your counselor. And that's all we have for pre-enrollment. I want to thank you for your time today. Um, I'm excited. We are all excited uh, that you are going to be joining us very soon. But in the meantime, we encourage you to keep working hard as an eighth grader because the work that you do as an eighth grader directly influences the classes you're able to take as a high schooler. So finish strong and we'll see you soon.